Old Delhi is a feast for the senses. Loud, pushy, overcrowded, but magnetically charming. It's a place you have to visit more than once. Today my friend Mark and I venture into Old Delhi to find some film equipment and to sample some more delicacies from Parate Wali Gully. My daughter, meanwhile, begins teaching Melissa and I art lessons. All that and more today on American Indian. We're an American family living in India. We love food, film, language, culture, and making new friends. Join our adventures from America to India and beyond. I always like scavenger hunts, and today, uh, somewhere in Delhi, there's a camera slider waiting for me to buy it. So, I'm trying to try and find it. And Chandni Chalk. <laughs> All right. Well. Let's do this. Okay, I have no idea where it is. <laughs> so Chandni Chowk is the old moonlit market built way back in the 1600s, and it has the character to prove it. There's a little bit of everything here. Famous places of worship for all the major world religions, jam-packed streets of hawkers, rickshaws, street food, and even, as I just found out, camera equipment. Mark had an address for one place. We just couldn't seem to find it. We turned down one lane, and we were again baffled by the juxtaposition of so many different types of products soldering irons, x-ray film, and random assortments of meters and measuring devices that look like they belonged in an old sci-fi movie. We first stop, we found exactly what I was looking for, and decent price, and uh, well, the slider was there, just needed to find the right uh, camera head, or the, the tripod head, so I'd like to try one more place and then uh, see what they've got, otherwise they've got my money. It's pretty amazing, first stop. It is amazing, I can't in, believe it. In in Chandy Chow, I mean, it's just not the place I, I would have thought. Like for for this this level of equipment, it's great. Seen, uh, two sliders, three sliders now. I like the second of the three. It has bearings on it, so it's nice and smooth. And we even use it with this camera, and it looks awesome. Uh, still can't find the right head to put on it, but right now our stomachs are saying it needs something, and so we have to go find some paratha. I hear there's banana paratha somewhere. Banana paratha. Let's do this Somewhere's thing. Important. All right, over here. About to have your first part of the Wally Gully experience. Love it. Oh. oh, yeah. Check it out. So, how'd you enjoy your part of the Wally experience? Mm -hmm. Mama Hammer. Mama Hammer. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> After recuperating with some delicious Parathe Wali Gully sustenance, we headed down to South Delhi because Mark had gotten word from a friend there was a hidden photo supply store nestled in the recesses of Gautam Nagar. So what, what is the name of the place that we just we found it at? This is uh, Photo India, right? Photo in India Incorporated and uh, we got half of the project, the head that we wanted, but just not the slider that we wanted. I think I'm going to have to go back to one of the other stores to get the slider. Um, they didn't have the right size here. So in case you're looking for Photo India, it's uh, <laughs> It's, it's very well marked. The yellow shutters. The yellow shutters. <laughs> there it is, the yellow shutters, right there. Don't bother looking for the address because you're not going to find no, it. It's not written on the door. It's not written anywhere, is no. it? No. So, we hey, we the, found it. Though. We got to know the neighborhood that We way. did. And this is actually the same neighborhood that uh, uh, World Vision. World, no, World Media Vision. That's the place where I always rented my equipment from. Oh. Rented lenses and stuff from there. And, yeah. So if you need some Zeiss lenses, some Zeiss primes, if you're in we the got, market for that. We got 10,000 to... You want to rent, rent that for a day. Successful day. Yeah. Got to experience some fun of Delhi and Paranta and get my head put on straight. All in all, it was a fun day with Mark and it inspired me to get back to some photo taking. So here are a couple scenes from around town. I have this idea for a photo exhibition that I would call either To Let or Stick No Bills. The subtitle would be A Celebration of Temporary Signage in North India. On a particularly lazy Saturday, Sati decided to give Melissa and I art lessons. I have them draw a basic castle, but make it more creative because that one's just a little boring basic castle. So, this is what Dad drew. Look at that castle. That castle's mean, man. You don't want to come up to that castle. They painted teeth on the door. They got these 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 arrow shooter port hole, holes for eyebrows, so people can pop out of there too. Yeah. Why don't you explain your picture? It's peacetime in the kingdom. And just a tad girly with the purple. I think you should have painted that part the same color as this. It's creative, but 
So, uh, so the now the stuffed animals are raiding us. Oh, and here's Seth is. Okay, I see. I didn't make it purple, I don't want to make it purple. Keep up the good work, Mom, but Dad's on the way. Oh! <laughs> hey, congratulations. I mean, oh wait, sorry. That's, you should be saying that to me. Last call charge. 9.46 rupees. Call duration, 15 minutes, 46 seconds. Good job! 16 cents. 15 minute call to the United States. Unbelievable. It's painfully cute rubers. Hey, in his Batman outfit. Hey, oh. what, am I not painfully cute? Yes, you are painfully cute. Hmm. Oh, and this is one of the best video game songs ever. Batman. Batman. From the regular NAS. That's right, he's dressed for Batman. Got your own theme song right here. This makes you, makes you need to go like that. So what are we watching tonight? All right. Part attempt two, right? Yep. So far, the DVD's working. What happened the first time? It stopped working. There was a very large blemish. Psychological thrillers in America, I mean, in Hollywood, they copy one another a lot too. They do. So, what did this make you think of? So, yeah, this is definitely the Sixth Sense. Like in the Sixth Sense, they give you this punchy sort of flashback where you see everything like, oh, that's what was going on. This, I mean, they belabor it for like seven to ten minutes. It's just like, they just keep giving you like, okay, we already knew it. There's some cool other stuff, B-plot stuff with mm -hmm. Navazuddin Siddiqui and his love interest. I like that whole B-plot. There's a lot that's well executed here. Lemon has been taking his time on the walking thing. He's like, I've got you at my beck and call, why should I? But recently he started putting his little walker to use. So here's the uh, temporary new green screen setup. Really perfect. Perfect setup. There's a lot of, we don't even have to set up a light. That green screen has since been migrated into a cupboard. This has been a short episode of American Indian. Uh, next week will be a little bit longer one when we look back to American Thanksgiving with a whole host of folks from all across the world, Canadians, Indians, Aussies, and New Zealanders. Is it okay to call you guys Kiwis? Which makes me ask the question, what do you call Americans? Do we have a nickname? Do I want to know? So American football and Thanksgiving get a lesson on Canadian football and Thanksgiving. Kiwi delivers his verdict on eating pumpkin pie for the first time, and Rohan gets his groove back. All that and more next week on American Indian.